everybody and welcome to today's pregnancy yoga flow with me Laurie from Lemon Yoga. Today I'm going to be taking you through my favourite third trimester pregnancy stretches to get rid of those common aches and pains. So make sure you're sitting comfortably, let's just take a moment to check in, close off the eyes and take a moment to focus on our breath just tuning out the day and tuning into ourselves. Just focusing on your breath for a few more moments here. And then we're gonna to start to add some gentle movement to the body. So just starting to draw circles with the rib cage as we roll the body all the way forwards and backwards. Just moving through as many circles as you can and changing the direction whenever it feels right for you. Just stay connected to your breath as you move. Finding your way back through to centre, sitting nice and tall. And we'll start to move through seated cat cow as we lift the heart space forwards, lifting the head. And then on the exhale, rounding vertebrae by vertebrae, look down towards your baby bum. On the inhale, open and unwind, lift that heart space forwards, drop the head back. And on your exhale, going the other way, rounding vertebrae by vertebrae and dropping chin to chest. Just moving through two more like this. Just following your own breath length. Trying to find some calm in our practice today. your last one come back through to neutral we're gonna lift the arms to cactus now as we lift the heart space forwards and on the exhale rounding through the spine drop chin to chest and hug arms together inhale open exhale we round hug the arms together two more in your own time moving through cactus and then moving back into your forward fold into the left side of the body. 
exhale to release, rise on up, hands onto the knees. And we're going to take that left leg now out to the side of the room. We'll come back into our side stretching in a moment, but let's start by just having a little old wiggle of our hips here or moving in a circular motion. This is a really great way to start to open up those hips, by the way, if you are reaching the end of your pregnancy and you want to get the body prepared for birth. So just having a good old wiggle here into those hips. Asana, our cobbler's pose for our hips. Really, really great one in pregnancy. And again, if you're later in pregnancy, really, really nice way to begin to get the body ready for birth. So just sitting nice and tall here, let the knees fall wherever they naturally fall to. 
but you can also begin to take a gentle fold down towards your feet. But just bear in mind this won't suit all of our pregnant bodies. Some of us will feel much more comfortable staying upright, especially if you feel it pushes baby down into your bladder, then absolutely stay upright to feel more comfortable. If you did take that fold, let's begin to unravel the body now. We'll draw knees back in towards each other and make our way round onto all fours in your own time, setting yourself with a long flat back, palms flat to the ground, knees on the ground. When you're ready, we're going to inhale through our flat back and exhale as we round through the spine, looking towards our bum. On the inhale, unravel back through to your flat back. And then again, on the exhale, we're rounding, looking towards our bum. Now just tune into your own breath length and keep moving between these two. If you've not got a cushion, just reach the arms forwards as you let your body melt back over your feet. Really, really lovely stretch for both your hips and your back in pregnancy. And child's pose is always a nice place to focus on our breath. Just close off your eyes here, tune into the inhale and the exhale inhale and exhale just stay with that cycle of breath if you want to we're going to reach the cushion and our arms over to the right hand side now just so we feel a deeper stretch through the left side of the body don't have to do this you can just stay in the center in your child's pose instead and stay really connected to that slow flow of breath you're going to move your cushion all the way over to the left hand side now so you feel a slightly deeper stretch running through the right side of your body and then just let yourself melt back down Transitioning now from our 
our child's pose onto our left hand side for Shavasana today. Grab any cushions you need. I like a big cushion between my knees and then something under the head as well. Placing one hand on the belly, your other arm is extended to support you under your head. And then I just want you to melt that left side of the body down towards the ground. You're gonna give yourselves a few moments here to simply relax, to switch off from your day-to-day -day worries and just let yourself be with that hand on your belly. You could be using this time to connect to baby as well, which is always a nice thing to do when pregnant. Just observe your breath. Notice where the breath is sitting in the body, whether it's the chest or the belly. Just listening to the inhale and the exhale. Feel free to stay here as long as you need in your Shavasana. But I'm going to leave you here for today. So I just want to say a great big thank you for joining me for this third trimester practice. I really hope you've enjoyed. And if you have, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment and hit subscribe to join the Lemon Yoga family. Thank you so much. Your support means the world and I will see you next time. Bye bye.